Good morning, all you doodlers. <laughs> non doodlers as well. Um, yes, so we are at day four of this piece, I believe. And whilst my tea is still hot. Not sure if, whether I shall complete this piece today. Let's see how it goes. Um, I do have a fair way to go. And uh, yeah, let's see. Let's see how it pans out. I, I do not like to pressure myself when it comes to these things. So um, I shall simply work away at it consistently and see how it pans out. Right. Hmm. No, this is not the piece I need to be using. At all, at all, at all. Do need to start with today is my oh, where are you? I need my black Conte. Where art thou? Uh, one would have thought I would have it at hand, but no. Is that, is that you? Is that you? No, that's not you either. Okay. <laughs> Where are you? There is a simple piece of... Oh, goodness. I am perplexed. Oh, there you are. Okay. Okay. So difficult to see uh, these little black contact cards because I've got loads and loads of little bits of, of black um, charcoal, uh, charcoal sticks as well in there. Yeah. Anyway, anywho. Right, I want to get. I want to get this contrast going of this this part of the wall, this facing edge of the wall to this tidal pool, as well as the quite crisp and slick reflections of the wall in the water below. So those will be significantly darker than the yeah okay okay so yeah so significantly darker than the other darker areas surrounding it surrounding them um, So, black Conte crayon is what I'm using at this point. Actually, actually what I need to be using, <laughs> the hunt is on again. Uh, compressed charcoal, where are you? Um, is what I should be really working with here. Uh, come on, go. Also difficult to see because <laughs> it's also charcoal, but it's it's uh, it has been obviously powdered 
and then compressed to form this very intense black. Which is exactly what I need for these for this wall area because if you can imagine it's it's a uh, completely encrusted in muscles well not so much muscles anymore this coastline has been denuded of muscles over the years but um, little crustaceans and funny limpets and all sorts of all sorts of little things algae and seaweed and everything <laughs> so the compressed charcoal really gives a a nice inky black where I need it. as I said this the other side of the wall there's a great deal of of wave action which because of the um, the contrast of the foreground is kind of is kind of whited out it's uh, overexposed almost um, because it's all white um, of these waves that have been passing through here
just get that more filled in over here. And let's have a little bit of this uh, minty powdery uh, green just in spots over here just to move on. to use my Conte here for a while. So what I'm doing here is Beginning to work with line, pure line. Um, 
that that forms that that creates form the form of this piece um, as I like to call it perhaps the the topography if you can imagine a topographical map that's all lines that demarcate and give form and structure to the uh, and dimension to a map um, it's the same with line here uh, it's, it's like the the punctuation of this piece it, 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 it highlights certain aspects certain colors certain um, areas of light and shade etc and helps them to work together telling a story using my white or a color or black with regards to line I'm just simply traversing the surface of the piece here um, and so the, the little line the, the line work subtle line work slowly builds up that form as opposed to coloring in Is it other color?
think I can risk doing a little bit of very faint black spidery line work. Very, very faint. You wouldn't even see it with the naked eye from a couple of meters away. So I think that I can just, just adding a little bit more refinement of contrast. I'm just trailing this across the surface very lightly. reflection of these upright posts Let's let's go and work over this side a little bit. Let me first of all have some tea. Right. Let's select a little bit of green. Again, still using my line work over here to build up the, the body of color. Although I've been working quite consistently um, in filling in color, um, 
many of the colors have been within the same within the same uh, uh, what's the word in the kind of same hue range um, so the color that is here is fairly subtle it's not it's not bold and that color as you might imagine uh, um, an oil painting for example you know just just as a, a very vague example mind you but uh, because of the nature of of pastel it is quite subtle and I prefer it so because this is a a uh, mixed media piece uh, with with the predominant the predominant uh, basis of it is is charcoal from that at all just because there's this there's this as as the as the uh, as we get some distance between our vantage point and and the horizon line which is over there so the the, the, the angle of our viewpoint becomes flattens out in other words to, towards the horizon line um, and as that occurs so we have a, a, a the, the the what we can see uh, the clarity of the water now starts to blend with the with the reflection on the surface of the water. Um, so over here it's more reflection. Over here it's more clarity. If that makes any sense. And as that angle changes, so we see less and less of the. Of the uh, the bed of the tidal pool, the bottom of the tidal pool, and more of the sky reflected on the surface of the water. And yet, it's a very subtle, it's a very subtle blending. There's no point at which the what the, what we can see in the, in at the bottom of the water, underneath the water rather, um, and the reflection blends becomes this becomes one. Anyway, <clears throat> just some some <clears throat> a few distinctions there. That need to be made. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for a very pale lilac. Are you around? Are you around? Or am I going to be using you? No, I don't want to really use you. Uh, goodness gracious me, where is it? Right then, uh, I guess I shall be using this one. No, 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 no. Come on, guy. Where is this color? Where is my pale, pale lilac? Hmm. Maybe I've already. 
used it all up. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right, we'll have to use the second in command. Tonal value, that's what I was, that's the word I was looking for. It's not, the, it's not, <clears throat> these colors aren't of similar hue, although they kind of are complementary. Um, but they are of a very similar tonal value, many of them. Except, of course, where there's contrast. But I've got greens and blues and lilacs and yellows and, and so on. Um, in all of us that are very close in tone. So that they subtly work together. So if you can imagine the multifacetedness of the surface of the water, it's it, it 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 might seem calm and smooth but it is constantly undulating and every undulation has its own undulations etc um little ripples caused by a little breath of wind you know so it's always a different then it becomes a, diff a slightly different reflection um, it's endless, it's an endless, it's an endless choreography, a display of, of light, of color, a kaleidoscope, ever changing, and this is, is just about Capturing a frame, capturing one, one subtle pause in time. Yeah, that's the plan. How are we doing for time? Yeah, we are okay. At the stage. It's very difficult with both charcoal and pastel to create detail because they're blunt. You know, they've got, you know, they're, they're thick and they're blunt. So you can't get this nice, sharp, crisp point like you can with a pencil, for example. Um, so it's, it's, it's more of a challenge to build up the, uh, you have to work with the appearance of detail rather than the, or the illusion of detail rather than the detail itself. And that, as I said, we create through line. Subtle building up of line that collectively enhances that illusion of form. And 
I can just by by using a very light feather feather touch um, with pastel um, I can I can leave this little little thin line but then I as I work back and forth that line builds subtly get more intensity to the white in this in this reflecting reflection of this spray that's going on here which I'm going to work on shortly and with regards to uh, using acrylics to achieve that Right, I am going to actually, I'm going to actually do that almost immediately, I think. Let's just uh, quickly. Let's get some, let's get some uh, acrylic going here. Okay. Always love the smell of paint. Ah. It's a fresh smell. Let's get a couple of brushes here that I might need. Okay. Right. Predominantly, however, I need... My, ah, let's just use the brush first, actually. And then we'll spray afterwards. Right. Clear the decks. So I'm using a, a grizzly old brush that I've had for decades and decades. <laughs> um, it's completely buggered, <laughs> but it's perfect for the job, for this job, um, because of its bristliness. It's not a, it's a cheap and nasty old thing, but it, it, still, it still lives on. Um, and serves a purpose better than some of these wonderful sable hair brushes, etc. Especially, especially in this instance. Uh, where I just want this, this very rough texture to build up with the white. And what I really 
enjoy about this paper always, and I, and I always say so, but for those of you who are new to my tube, um, this grey daham, as it's called, or some, some they refer to it as chipboard, the merchants, um, is, is a 390 gram, 600 micron, so it's uh, it's 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 thicker than a business card thickness if you if you if you know what I'm saying um, if you can under if you can imagine that um, so it's a fairly thick board and um, but not like triplex it's not uh, it's not very heavy in that respect um, so it. Even though it's not like it's not like uh, watercolor paper that that or pre-stretched paper that 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 it still has an absorbance to it level level to it so it will it will kind of um, um, bubble a little as it absorbs the moisture and then it will set it will settle back again always so I love using it. Um, of course, I'm not going to paint large surfaces with it. I'm simply dabbing at it here. Uh, I'm just simply merely getting the getting the uh, paint onto the onto the surface. So I'm not applying it very heavily. So we've got about what 15 minutes left, a good stove, 15 minutes left, um, which should give me enough time to complete this piece. And if I don't, I will I will engage overtime. Yeah, so it's wonderfully resilient paper. I have been using it now consistently for the past, wow, how many years now? Um, nearly five years, and I swear by it. Each to their own, however. I understand that. But it more than serves the purpose of my my needs. And I like the fact that it's not white. Um because Uh, when working on it here, even in this in this uh, pale background, I, the, 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 the color of the, of the board comes through and therefore allows this lovely contrast when I am working with intense highlights with white, either acrylic or pastel or Conte, it really works well and has that nice, it's that, um, it's that middle ground kind of um, base color, a neutral, very neutral color. 
in printing terms, you might call it a 10 or 15% black. Um, And here, where I'm working now, uh, where I have worked with the pastel, the paint doesn't take that well. So it's there's this kind of this inconsistency, which is exactly what I want. It's like it, it takes and doesn't take. It takes and doesn't take. It's lovely. all the time, do I? I think it's time for some for some uh, spray with my toothbrush. Not my current toothbrush, but uh, an older one. <laughs> so that not. Uh, okay, let's see how this goes. And. For this, I believe I shall have to be upstanding because I don't want to. I want to get close to this and right. See the, uh, I see the, uh, the paper is already starting to buckle a little bit when I've been working more intensely, but it will, it will flatten out beautifully once it's dry. Gotta love it. And, and in contrast to what I was saying earlier about when I'm using the brush to apply acrylic paint to areas where there are where there's already where I've already been working with um, pastel and it doesn't take with the acrylic with the the toothbrush spray method it, it simply sits on top and it'll dry as such which is quite interesting but it also the uh, the use of this spray with a toothbrush it also gives me a lovely texture 
abrasive texture to work with afterwards to add more highlights and little detail with my um, with my pastel, etc. Right. And because it's acrylic, it dries fairly rapidly, as opposed to um, as opposed to oils. And that's probably one of the main reasons why I why I don't use oils. I don't like using oils because I haven't got the uh, the patience for it. I'm waiting for it to dry for days on end. Anyway, um, be that as it may, it all obviously has its merits that's, that some people enjoy. And right, so whilst that's sort of drying out somewhat, I'll continue working with this area of uh, reflection. And we've got about seven minutes. Uh, we might go a couple of minutes over time. Who knows? Who cares? I'm going to use my Conte in this Just to just to enhance the the uh, appearance of this these foamy bits that are floating on the surface, I'm using a, a jiggledy line. Is that a word? I don't know. It doesn't matter. So this whiteness becomes part, eventually becomes part um, reflection and part foam on the surface. It's quite interesting. Looks like uh, I'm producing a doctor's script here. Something 
the use of some pale blue in places. And there we go. Very subtle little little highlights dotted around the place as the angle of the surface captures the reflection of the spray or the glint of the sun above. Almost done, actually. So the abrasiveness of the of the sprayed acrylic now creates this texture. It, it has it has the texture that actually makes the causes the pastel where I use it to be more whiter, um, which is lovely. Right, I am done. I'm done. Except for, where's that black? Where is that black? That's a little detail on that. Right, we're done. We're done, folks. I'm going to sign off. Alrighty, let's let's put our little sponge on the bottom here. Get. Okay, people, that's a wrap.
I do believe. Um, I shall post up the um, the uh, the the final image of this piece later on today. Um, so keep an eye out for it. Um, meantime, thank you for joining me this 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 past number of days, and um, and yes, do follow me on a, in, on the tube. Um, hit the bell icon and the subscribe button and all that stuff if you if you choose to i appreciate it and uh please any feedback um you'd like to share with me by all means do so um and and please do share for me as well <laughs> i appreciate it as as much so yeah i hope you've enjoyed the process and uh i bid you an entire oodle of of a, of a toodle <laughs> see you again soon um yeah so from monday next week i shall hopefully have a have, have a new piece thought out and uh see what we see where we go from there so have a fantastic weekend and uh be good be careful mm, be just be bye <laughs> but always doodle always doodle